Hypersonic flight is flight through the atmosphere below about 90 km at speeds above Mach 5, a speed where dissociation of air begins to become significant and high heat loads exist. In such a regime the aerodynamic flow around a flight body is described by similarity parameters such as its Mach number and its Reynolds number. History The first manufactured object to achieve hypersonic flight was the two-stage bumper rocket, consisting of a WAC corporal second stage set on top of a V-2 first stage. On February 1949, at White Sands, the rocket reached a speed of 5,150 miles per hour, or approximately Mach 6.7. The vehicle, however, burned on atmospheric re-entry, and only charred remnants were found. In April 1961, Russian Major Yuri Gagarin became the first human to travel at hypersonic speed, during the world's first piloted orbital flight. Soon after, in May 1961, Alan Shepard became the first American and second person to achieve hypersonic flight when his capsule re-entered the atmosphere at a speed above Mach 5 at the end of his suborbital flight over the Atlantic Ocean. In November, 1961, Air Force Major Robert White flew the X-15 research airplane at speeds over Mach 6. The re-entry problem of a space vehicle was extensively studied. The hypersonic regime has since become the subject for further study during the 21st century, and strategic competition between the US, Russia, and China. The NASA X-43A flew on scramjet for 10 seconds, and then glided for 10 minutes on its last flight in 2004. The Boeing X-51 Waverider flew on scramjet for 210 seconds in 2013, finally reaching Mach 5.1 on its fourth flight test. Physics. The stagnation point of air flowing around a body is a point where its local velocity is zero. At this point the air flows around this location. A shock wave forms, which deflects the air from the stagnation point and insulates the flight body from the atmosphere. This can affect the lifting ability of a flight surface to counteract its drag and subsequent free fall. Ning describes a method for interrelating Reynolds number with Mach number, in order to maneuver in the atmosphere at faster speeds than supersonic. The forms of propulsion can still be air breathing systems, but a ramjet no longer suffices for a system to attain Mach 5, as a ramjet slows down the airflow to subsonic. Some systems wave riders use a first stage rocket to boost a body into the hypersonic regime. Other systems boost glide vehicles use scramjets after their initial boost, in which the speed of the air passing through the scramjet remains supersonic. Other systems munitions use a cannon for their initial boost. <laughs> High temperature effect Hypersonic flow is a high energy flow. The ratio of kinetic energy to the gas internal energy increases as the square of the Mach number. When this flow enters a boundary layer, there are high viscous effects due to the friction between air and the high speed object. In this case, the high kinetic energy is converted in part to internal energy, and gas energy is proportional to the internal energy. Therefore, hypersonic boundary layers are high temperature regions due to the viscous dissipation of the flow's kinetic energy. Another region of high temperature flow is the shock layer behind the strong bow shock wave. In the case of the shock layer, the flow's velocity decreases discontinuously as it passes through the shock wave. 
This results in a loss of kinetic energy and a gain of internal energy behind the shock wave. Due to high temperatures behind the shock wave, atoms in the air will begin to dissociate. For example, in air when T greater than 2000 K, diatomic oxygen will dissociate, O220. For T greater than 4000 K, diatomic nitrogen will dissociate, N22N. In this temperature range, nitric oxide will form N2 plus O22NO and will ionize N plus O NO plus plus E. Measuring the high temperature effect of hypersonic vehicles is not possible by attaching a thermocouple, this would ruin the airflow over the wing. However, a real-time method exists to locate transient, concentrated heating sources when location cannot be directly measured, as explained by Dr. Mike Myers in his defense dissertation parameter estimation using the extended Kalman filter and ultrasonic pulse time of flight to locate transient, concentrated heating sources. Low density flow At standard sea level condition for air, the mean free path of air molecules is about lambda equals sixty eight N M Display style lambda equals sixty eight mathem N M Low density air is much thinner. At an altitude of 342,000 feet or 104 kilometers, the mean free path is lambda equals one f t equals 0.305 m. Display style lambda equals one foot equals 0.305 meters. Because of this large free mean path aerodynamic concepts, equations, and results based on the assumption of a continuum begin to break down, therefore aerodynamics must be considered from kinetic theory. This regime of aerodynamics is called low-density flow. For a given aerodynamic condition low density effects depends on the value of a nondimensional parameter called the Knudsen number Kn, defined as K underscore N equals lambda, L where L is the typical length scale of the object considered. The value of the Knudsen number based on nose radius, Kn equals lambda, R, can be near 1. Hypersonic vehicles frequently fly at very high altitudes and therefore encounter low density conditions. Hence, the design and analysis of hypersonic vehicles sometimes require consideration of low density flow. New generations of hypersonic airplanes may spend a considerable portion of their mission at high altitudes, and for these vehicles, low density effects will become more significant. Thin shock layer The flow field between the shock wave and the body surface is called the shock layer. As the Mach number m increases, the angle of the resulting shock wave decreases. This Mach angle is described by the equation μ equals sin minus 1 a v display style mu equals sin caret minus 1 a v where a is the speed of the sound wave and v is the flow velocity since m equals v a the equation becomes mu equals sin minus 1 1 m display style mu equals sin caret minus 1 1 m 
smaller Mach numbers position the shock wave closer to the body surface, thus at hypersonic speeds, the shock wave lies extremely close to the body surface, resulting in a thin shock layer. At low Reynolds number, the boundary layer grows quite thick and merges with the shock wave, leading to a fully viscous shock layer. Viscous interaction The compressible flow boundary layer increases proportionately to the square of the Mach number, and inversely to the square root of the Reynolds number. At hypersonic speeds, this effect becomes much more pronounced, due to the exponential reliance on the Mach number. Since the boundary layer becomes so large, it interacts more viscously with the surrounding flow. The overall effect of this interaction is to create a much higher skin friction than normal, causing greater surface heat flow. Additionally, the surface pressure spikes, which results in a much larger aerodynamic drag coefficient. This effect is extreme at the leading edge and decreases as a function of length along the surface. <inaudible> entropy layer The entropy layer is a region of large velocity gradients caused by the strong curvature of the shock wave. The entropy layer begins at the nose of the aircraft and extends downstream close to the body surface. Downstream of the nose, the entropy interacts with the boundary layer which causes an increase in aerodynamic heating at the body surface. Although the shock wave at the nose at supersonic speeds is also curved, the entropy layer is only observed at hypersonic speeds because the magnitude of the curve is far greater at hypersonic speeds. <laughs> hypersonic weapons development In the last year, China has tested more hypersonic weapons than we have in a decade. We've got to fix that. Hypersonic weapons, by definition, travel five or more times the speed of sound. Hypersonic cruise missiles, which are powered by scramjet, are restricted below 100,000 feet. Hypersonic glide vehicles can travel higher. Compared to a ballistic parabolic trajectory, a hypersonic vehicle would be capable of large angle deviations from a parabolic trajectory. According to CNBC, Russia and China led in hypersonic weapon development, trailed by the United States. France, India, and Australia may also be pursuing the technology. Waverider hypersonic weapons delivery as an avenue of development. China's Xingkong-2, Xingkong Erhao Starry Sky 2, a waverider, had its first flight 3 August 2018. In 2016, Russia is believed to have conducted multiple successful tests of Avangard, a hypersonic glide vehicle. In 2018, an Avangard was launched at the Dombrovsky missile base, reaching its target at the Kura shooting range, a distance of 3,700 miles. Avangard uses a scramjet engine. Avangard uses new composite materials which are to withstand temperatures of up to 2,000 degrees Celsius 3,632 degrees Fahrenheit. The Avangard's environment at hypersonic speeds reaches such temperatures. Russia considers its current carbon fiber solution to be unreliable. These tests have prompted U.S. responses in weapons development per John Hyten's USSTRATCOM Statement 503, 8 August 2018. UTC. At least one vendor is developing ceramics to handle the temperatures of hypersonics systems. There are over a dozen U.S. hypersonics projects as of 2018, notes the commander of USSTRATCOM. 
According to Air Force Chief Scientist, Dr. Greg Zacharias, the U.S. anticipates having hypersonic weapons by the 2020s, hypersonic drones by the 2030s and recoverable hypersonic drone aircraft by the 2040s. The focus of DoD development will be on air-breathing boost glide hypersonics systems. Countering hypersonic weapons during their cruise phase will require radar with longer range, as well as space based sensors, and systems for tracking and fire control. Rand Corporation the 28th of September 2017 estimates there is less than a decade to prevent hypersonic missile proliferation. In the same way that anti-ballistic missiles were developed as countermeasures to ballistic missiles, counter-countermeasures to hypersonics systems are not yet in development. Both the US and Russia withdrew from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty in February 2019. This will spur arms development, including hypersonic weapons. Topic. Flown aircraft Topic. Hypersonic aircraft X-15 Boeing X-43 Boeing X-51 Avangard uncrewed. Topic: Space planes. Space Shuttle Orbiter. Buran uncrewed. RLVTD uncrewed. X-37 uncrewed. IXV uncrewed. Topic: Cancelled aircraft. Topic: Hypersonic aircraft. Silbervogel, Sanger bomber. Keldish bomber. Tupolev Tu-360, follow-on to Tu-160. Lockheed L-301. Topic: Space planes. X-20 Dinosaur Rockwell X-30 National Aerospace Plane MiG-105 Spiral Other spaceplane projects Topic <laughs> Developing and proposed aircraft Topic <laughs> Hypersonic aircraft I plane Wu 14 DFZF Avatar spacecraft Advanced Technology Vehicle NASA X 43 Hypersoar Falcon HTV 2 Lynx Boeing Commercial Airplanes Hypersonic Airliner Concept Lockheed Martin SR-72 Colid Pride Sanger II SHEFEX Skylon Spartan HEXAFLY Cruise missiles and warheads Advanced hypersonic weapon Wu-14 DFZF KH-45 cancelled Kinzel Zircon Hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle BrahMos-2 Topic. See also Hypersonic speed Supersonic transport Lifting body 
Atmospheric entry Boost glide Scramjet Ramjet List of X-planes Thunderbird 1